YouTube, uh, just wanted to show you one way of uh, heating your water that uh, you can do in Mexico. I bought this uh, water heater, it was 50 pesos, which is about uh, $3 right now, a little less. Uh, as you can see, it's just a, uh, a raw element. You plug it in. It's really dangerous. I mean, if you touch the water, you'll get shocked really, really badly. I mean, you could even die probably. This one, this one is one of the more powerful ones. There's some weaker ones, but um, this one is uh, extremely powerful. It heats the water up probably in about 10 minutes. Uh, it could be a good way to uh, heat water. You know, if uh, things happen where uh, you know your water heater goes down, you you know, obviously. People that uh, can't afford water heaters are using this, or if you're in an apartment, some sort of place where there's uh, no hot water, you know, you can use this. Like I said, it's very powerful. I, I had it plugged into this uh, extension cord and it actually just melted it. I think the problem is this is the plug that it came with, and this, this wire is too low gauge, can't handle all this uh, heat. I don't really know how I could lower it down. Maybe I could snip that, the coil. Like uh, make it a little smaller. I don't. I'm not an electrician, but I think maybe that would uh, lower it. Or either that, or I have to get a much higher gauge uh, plug. It's already like that's starting to get a little warm. You know, and it, it could be obviously it'd be very dangerous if that melted, it could short. But uh, anyways, wanted to show you that. I find it kind of interesting. It's probably something that a lot of people haven't seen unless you've been in the uh, third world. Uh, there's some better versions. I had a much better one when I was in Thailand. It was uh, copper, but uh, this is the best one I could find here. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Thanks.